Welcome back to this very special edition of Tell Me About Your Damn Book, live from the 2018 New England Authors Expo. I'm your host, Stephen Lomer, and joining me right now is thriller and suspense author, James Bruner. James? Thank you, Stephen. Pleasure to be with you in this lovely setting with the water in the background. Reminds me of the setting of my book. Really? Yes. How fascinating. Yes. Well, hold that thought, because we haven't gotten to that part yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about you for for a moment first um, so you're an attorney yes I'm an attorney uh, admitted in Maine Massachusetts New York and Florida okay. where I spend most of my time practicing law in Florida okay nice um, according to my research uh, you enjoy combining the legalese with your experiences growing up in the summers in Kennebunkport Maine that's right. That's Let's talk right. about that for a minute. Well, uh, I was, uh, you know, blessed really to uh, be raised in Kenny Bunkport in the summers. My dad was a minister of St. Anne's Church okay. out there on the ocean. Yep. That was where the bushes went to church. Uh -huh. and, and so I got to hobnob with uh, the rich and famous out there. But uh, the interesting part was that dad wasn't rich and famous and <laughs> this wasn't going to last forever. And so that was kind of the reason why I wrote the book. I, I did. There was a sense that for this brief period of time, I was in a really cool setting and I wanted to capture it for my children and for friends to, uh, because when it was over, it was over. <laughs> and uh, all I got is this dang book <laughs> but it's been fun nice nice um so you you practice law out of your tallahassee office yes sir and you write novels from your camp in kennebunkport yes i call it the writer's cramp the writer's cramp because <laughs> it's so it's like arse to elbow uh, we're we're in these uh, fancy rvs one uh -huh. for the kids one for uh, my wife and myself hi honey good to see you uh so it's the writer's cramp, and uh, I put the first book out of the series, and uh, it's it's going well in Kenny Bunkport in that, you know, environs, and I'm working on the second book now. Nice, yes. nice. Okay, so uh, on that note, why don't we discuss the first one by me invoking the gimmick of the show and saying, tell me about your damn book. It would be my pleasure. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, my book, The Bike Cop, In the Greater Weight of Evidence, is about a teenager who becomes the town's bike cop uh, to direct traffic and issue parking tickets. Kind of a low-level job where you're just kind of giving tourists uh, information about the town. And, and it takes place in a town called Port Talbot, which is loosely patterned after Kennebunkport, Maine, okay. where, where we spent our summers. And our uh, hero uh, is, is doing what he's supposed to do, directing uh, tourists, and a murder occurs, and a black bellhop is framed uh, from this huge hotel called the Brigantine Hotel. And the town leaders and the DA and the sheriff are only so happy to have it wrapped up. And they've got their man, the bellhop. Gotcha. Well, our 19-year-old says, wait a minute, something's not adding up. Mm -hmm. And he comes against uh, all manner of evil to bring out the evidence that it isn't this fella. So that's what the darn book is about <laughs> and uh it's uh, a legal thriller it culminates in a uh you know a, a trial scene uh a courtroom scene much like you can't handle the <laughs> truth you uh, -huh. know. uh but not like <laughs> not, that not that, like that yeah, right right but similar. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, i think it's probably safe to say that you drew on your law background yes. to, to make this very factual and yes. accurate Yes. Do you feel I, you've uh, you've achieved that? I I, I take I, I start there. Okay. With the factual, and then we spin it on its head. I see. Where attorneys reading it would go, now wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> There'd be an objection there. <laughs> what, 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 he shot him? <laughs> no, that's that's objectionable conduct. No, it, it we do take things and spin them on their head. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, but uh, yes, there's a little bit of you know, raised judicata and 
some legal terms sprinkled here and there okay. to make it look legit. Okay. But I assure you it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. we had fun. You know, I'd be typing away with the two fingers and I'd go, more, yes, you know, more, more evil. You know, it was a blast. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So are you, are you uh, well into the second book now? Chapter 10. Okay. I'm up to, uh, and I'm, I'm, I guess, you know, you know that I'm a published author. Uh, I average about 45 chapters. So we're about a fourth away through. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. So any notion of when we might be seeing that? Um, by Christmas. By Christmas. Yeah, you know, that Thanksgiving so that wow. we, can, we can, you know, traipse it, it, traipse it out for <laughs> everybody get two for Christmas. Yeah. To get one in your stocking. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Sure. That's right. Sure. That, yeah. that makes perfect sense. So uh, if someone is interested in your book, uh, where can they find it? Well, they can find it on all the, the traditional platforms that we look for uh, for books. Uh, you know, of course, Amazon and uh, you know, books a million and so forth. Now I am trying to get them stocked in the various books a millions and, and Barnes and Noble. But if you were to go up to the cash register at one of these big box places, they'll hook you up, but it's going to have to be shipped in. Um, and why, if you're in Kenny Bunkport, come on up. We've got them everywhere, probably 20 different outlets. You know, Cape Porpoise Kitchen, the Colony Hotel. You know, I could I could bring you through all of the beautiful spots, HB Provisions, um, the pharmacy, the Colonial Pharmacy in downtown Kenny Bunkport, Dock Square, is my number one seller. No kidding. So come up to Kenny Bunkport, grab one of these books, and uh, you'll enjoy it. There you go. I, I couldn't think of a better way to wrap this up. That's, That's perfect. Well, Steve, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Absolutely. James Bruner, thank you so much for taking the time. We will be right back.